My name is Professor Phil Hubbard. I am Professor of Urban Studies at King's College London. Very broadly, my work is based on a fairly simple assumption, and that is that in cities, two bodies can't occupy the same space at the same time. So I'm interested in questions of urban contestation and the way those conflicts are regulated, particularly via the intervention of the state and the law. And this has been manifest in a whole variety of different projects, thinking about the conflicts between different land uses in particular, looking at locally unwanted land uses such as student housing, uh, brothels, uh, sex businesses in particular, but also a wide range of facilities for groups who are seen as somehow other to white middle class heterosexual values and those that dominate contemporary cities. At the moment I'm working on two or three kind of uh, major projects. Um, the first of those is a major ESRC grant which is exploring the impact of council estate renewal in London and this is working on the assumption that the regeneration of many council estates in London is actually encouraging forms of exclusionary pressure that in turn are driving away uh, more working class and ethnic uh, minority populations that have been associated with those uh, estates for a number of years. So looking there at the conflict between different class groups as mediated by uh, a complex urban politics and a suite of urban processes that actually goes back as far as the mixed communities agenda of New Labour in 1997. The other project that I'm just working on is an ESRC project in relation to the impact of sporting mega events as a major moment of urban exception and urban policy making and in that project we're looking at the impact of urban policy in Rio in the wake of the World Cup of 2014, but particularly the Olympics of 2016, and thinking about the impacts that that has on the sex working community across a variety of different spaces. And like the Council Estate Project, that's also sponsored by the Economic and Social Research Council. Aside from those two major projects, I'm also continuing to write widely around gentrification and displacement in the context of coastal communities, uh, currently looking at the conflict at the battle for a beach in on the Kent coast, which has been subject to um, a post-productivist conflict over the use and access of that land. And at the same time, I'm also continuing some work on retail gentrification, uh, which was manifest in my most recent book, The Battle for the High Street, which was published by Palgrave in 2017 and comes out in paperback in 2018.